Well, I just wanted to make a little video here. Uh, this is one of my most recent acquisitions. This is a very old movement. This is from a French provincial, uh, otherwise known as a, a Morbier uh, tall case clock movement. Um, that's all that's left of it. Um, got it for a steal from a flea market. Guy was just trying to get rid of stuff and I, I got this for $25. After finding a few telltale signs, I did a little research and found out that this particular movement was made somewhere between 1760 and 1800. Um, so this is a very old movement. I think that's pretty cool. And I just left it up here, or I put it up here like this without adding the missing stuff like the hands or even put it in the case because I just think these giant gears are so cool to look at. Particularly the uh, crown escapement. It's a little unusual for clocks. This is really, really old. Um, you see a folio um, virgin there. The uh, vertical wire with two pedals on it letting that crown escapement pass. It is uh, weight driven. Um, I currently have uh, dumbbell weights on there. Um, I'm finding out the best optimum operating weight. And then yes, that is a clamp on there for finding the best um, rating section for um, for keeping good time. There was no pendulum. I built this pendulum myself. This is all project wood. Um, wall hangers. Um, safety wire for those side hangers. And yes, that is a binder clip with a uh, brass nut and knurled, uh, sorry, brass bolt and knurled screw on there. Um, and it does the job. The thing is working. Um, I'll, I'll show you how it chimes. I'm just going to help it along here. You can see the um, arm from the side running off of a cam on the center shaft that will drop and displace a lever, uh, allowing the side piece here with the notches um, fall down. Uh, those are the 12 notches for each chime. So let's hear what it was made to do uh, back in 1760. So, as you can tell, um, there's no hands on this. It's even missing the gear for the uh, um, for the hour hand. Um, but you know, it, it doesn't have to tell time uh, for me to enjoy what it does. I just think this is a really cool piece, and uh, just love looking to it, looking at it, and listening to it. So, anyway, yeah, I'm a geek. I like these sort of things. I hope you do, too. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.